Hello everybody, Erica Serwin here from Pink Buckery Designs. Today I'm going to show you how to make this beautiful card um, with these gorgeous blue mountains using the Mountain Air stamp set. This is a great stamp set in the uh, Stampin' Up! January to June 2020 catalog and uh, it has a really cool feature that the stamps are reversible which I'm going to show you in a minute. It also has these coordinating dies which we will be using as well. All right, so let me tell you about the reversible stamps. These long stamps here, as you can see on the front, on one side it gives you the uh, more detailed mountain image, and then if you turn the stamp over, you're going to get more of a, um, a filled in shadow, if you will, and you can see how I'm going to use that back here to make those mountains in the background. All right, so let's start by doing our first two pieces that need to be cut out. I'm going to stamp the mountain range in Night of Navy on Whisper White. So ink it up really well and stamp it right there on your Whisper White. Okay, now we're going to clean that and we're going to turn it over and in a little while we're going to come back to that background and we're going to stamp those. This is my um, chamois. It's a great stamp cleaning tool. You just wash it in the sink or throw it in the washing machine and then it's good to go again. All right, now we're gonna do the tree image and the tree image is also reversible. And I'm gonna use the side that has the more detailed trees. If you flip this stamp over, you'll get more of a silhouette with your trees. And I'm gonna stamp it in Mossy Meadow ink on Mossy Meadow cardstock. This is a more long solid stamp, so I'm really putting a lot of pressure on it. There we go. Now, we're gonna cut these out with the coordinating dies. So let's move our ink out of the way and bring the big shot over and pull out those dies. When you buy the dies and the stamp um, using the bundle number, it's just a little tip, uh, you save 10%. So if you decide to order this bundle, make sure you use that bundle number and not the individual stamp and die number. That way you'll save a little bit. All right, we've got those lined up nicely. And we'll run that through. There we go. And let's see how those trees look. There we go. All right, now let's work on our background piece. And I'm gonna pull over my grid paper. All right, let's do our background image. I um, have a piece of Whisper White, and remember we've flipped over our stamp so that we have that back shadow side. This is a really long, solid photopolymer stamp. So, get to, so to get a really good, solid image, I'm gonna put my foam piercing mat behind my paper. That's gonna help the the little if you've ever stamped a really big photopolymer stamp you know sometimes you'll get some little bubbles in there and we don't want that all right so there we go i'm going to do it just right in the middle right there lots of pressure Ooh, beautiful now i'm going to move it over and do a, do one right here without re-inking. Notice I didn't even re-ink. And then maybe another one over here. So they're getting lighter as they go in the background. Isn't that beautiful? Now I'm gonna take Seaside Spray. This is one of our in colors. And I want it to, to be a light sky background back there. So I've got a stamp and sponge. I've cut off a wedge. And I'm gonna use a Seaside Spray. I'm gonna kind of start off the edge and go across, okay? And we're gonna create that beautiful sky. And you can keep going on this, depending on how dark or how light you want your sky. Okay, I'm gonna come and fill that little white space in down there as well. Very pretty. Now, we can add all these pieces that we cut. Oh, but you know what? We need to do the sentiment first, don't we? Let's do that because that involves some embossing. And we don't want to 
to put this on and then have to do the sentiment because we're going to use some dimensionals and then your image will get all wonky if you try to stamp there. Um, this stamp set doesn't have sentiments, so I've pulled out this one, Family Party, and we're going to do Two a Wonderful, and I decided to use Friend, but I mean, look at the possibilities. You could use all those different, um, you know, people who you might want to give this card to. All right, I'm going to use the Embossing Buddy right here. The Embossing Buddy helps to um, reduce any kind of static that might be created that'll hang on to those uh, embossing powders, the little powders that you don't want in places where you don't want them. All right, this is um, a craft white ink to a wonderful, and then we'll do the friend to a wonderful friend. There we go. Now, white embossing powder. There we go. Now we're gonna hit it with a heat tool. And it takes about 20, no, well, maybe 15 to 20 seconds to really heat up and get to the, the temperature you need. And so I'm just gonna kind of move it around while I do this, <clears throat> excuse me, so that I don't scorch my paper. And as soon as it hits that temperature, you'll know, you'll see the, the white start to get shiny and bright there. Now I can see it. And you just want to move it around until all your, your image or your letters are nice and bright and shiny. That's how you know it's done. There we go. Perfect. Okay, now we're ready to layer up. All right, we're going to put this mountain range on with some dimensionals. Grab my dimensionals. I love my dimensionals. Okay. Put one on each end and then one in the middle. And we're going to put that right there. Let's see, I think it might go up just a little bit. Right there. And then this one's going to go here. Now, you might, depending on how far um, you've cut this, you might want to cut it off a little bit at the end, but I think we're okay. I think that's gonna work. Let's do three more dimensionals. And line it up along the bottom. It's a little bit longer as you can see, but we're gonna trim that off. There we go. Now I'm gonna just grab my scissors. You can use your trimmer if you wanna make sure you get it exactly right. And I'm just gonna trim it off on both ends. Now the measurements for these pieces, you guys, are over on my blog. Click on the link. This was originally a Facebook Friday card where I did it during a Facebook Live, but this is the clean recording. And there's a PDF on that blog post that has all the measurements, all the supplies that I've used, as well as two other beautiful mountain cards. This stamp set definitely inspired me. All right, now I put it on um, Night of Navy matte and a Seaside Spray card base. And that's it. Isn't that gorgeous? I didn't use any other embellishments. I thought it was just beautiful as it is. No bow needed. If you know me, you know I like to do bows, but no bow needed, no anything else, just the beautiful mountains. All right, you guys, thank you so much for joining me. Please let me know if you have any questions and hop over to my blog and get all those details. And I hope that you can make some beautiful mountain ranges at home. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.